Yeah, it's been great. I think uh, just coming back down here and just being in a familiar area, and just uh, honestly, I knew uh, I know a few of these guys already, um, whether there's former teammates or guys maybe I played against. Um, so it's good to see them, meet a few new faces, and uh, there's a lot of good talent here too. So talking to some of the goaltenders, it's probably a little strange for you. you're still a young guy, but a lot of them are saying like. Playing with you is a big deal for them. And Goliath Lifford said he grew up, you know, looking at you, which is crazy. But what does that mean to kind of be one of the elder statesmen out there for these goaltenders? Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't, I, I don't feel old, but like, <laughs> I don't feel like. But uh, it's good. I mean, I think honestly, it's nice. And for me, you know, I, the way I put it is like, um, if I just got drafted and there's a guy say in my position now who was there, it's like, you know, I would hope he would, you know, be able to like reach out and help me out and give some pointers or just kind of talk to me about things. So I know I always like to talk to them and get to know them and they're all great guys. So I think we've built a good relationship between all the goalies. And after so. some time off, how big is this for you to get, you know, in some organized play here heading into training camp and bigger camps down the road? Yeah, I think it's for me, I think the, the hockey, uh, like the skills and the physicality and conditioning, it honestly, for me, it's not a big deal. I, I think honestly, I think I come in and it takes me a, you know, a few skates to get the legs back and um, you know I, but it's good I think no matter where you are what camp you're in whether it's dev camp main camp it, it doesn't really feel a whole lot different it just feels like camp and there are good players everywhere and but yeah regardless I think this week is good and honestly it's just been good just to for us to like go do things like the concert last night blink 182 and um, what else we do? Made sushi yesterday, stuff like that. So it's just fun. What have you enjoyed most being back? I think uh, I've seen some fami you know, familiar faces. Um, you know, just trainers, the equipment guys, coaches. Honestly, it's just fun. And that's honestly one of the best things about hockey is just the faces and the people. I think that goes overlooked. And when it's all said and done, those are the things you remember. How much can you tell us about what the last few months have been like for you, the process, and just from March till now? Yeah, I don't think it's the right time to address anything on that front. I'll do that when I feel it's the time's right. Um, but regardless, I'm just happy to be here um, and just have just have fun. I think that's the biggest thing. Have See? you been able to play much hockey over the summer? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, I take I take a break regardless for a long period of time in the summer. Like most summers, I don't think I started skating till August. You know, um, so and that's that and that's kind of thing. I don't think it's unusual for me to take a few months off from the skating aspect. I, have a, I still work out. It's not like I'm just sitting around on the beach all day. <laughs> but um, so, but I think right now it's just been great, um, and I'm just excited. So. Did you find it important to be here? I mean, it seemed like a couple of weeks ago talking. You had to, you know, apply to you know talking to the NHL about being here. Did you find, feel it was important to be here? To be here. Yeah. I think it is. I think it is important to be here for the sake that I think I honestly approach it like this is a great opportunity to play hockey, right? And I think that's all, any opportunity to play hockey is a great opportunity. Um, but I think, honestly, in terms of my game, I think it is too. Because I think, you know, the one thing is like you just got to come in and just work hard. And, that's, and I think that's the one thing. That there's things I'm working on here too. It's just like whether it's, you know, positioning or your skating. So, and you can't, I always say you can't really replicate that in environments where there's not any structure or like intensity, you know? So this is one step and then obviously you get to games and then nothing is, you can't compare games to anything without practice, right? So I think that'll be fun to just get back in the swing of things. And, and now with training camp, Tommy, I, mean, I doubt you'll be at rookie camp, but. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, they, maybe they invite me, I don't know. <laughs> well, not, I, mean, I don't know. But with training camp coming on, I mean, yeah. I mean, have you talked to anybody about what that's going to be like, what it's going to look like for, for you and the goalie position and all of that stuff? Yeah, I don't know. I We haven't addressed it much, and I think we have a bunch of good goalies here in the system. Um, and. You know, I could think things or speculate on how things go, but the one thing I've learned is that I've just got to be cool with whatever happens. You know, you go here, great. If you're there, great. You know, this happens, great. That, you know, that's and that's I think the approach I have to have because I know the skill I have and I don't doubt that the skill combined with my you know, you know, physical capability. I think I have tremendous skill and I think I can be one of the best goalies in this league. You know, I'm still 22, but. Um, and so I think that uh, mentality 
of embracing the uncertainty and just embracing, you know, we don't know what's going to happen next. You know, do you think Florida think they'd be in the Stanley Cup Finals in January? But they are, right? So I think that's one thing I think I am just embracing. You know what? Who knows what's going to happen? But I think I'm cool with that, and I think that I'm just going to become a better goalie in person from that. You can't handle, you can't control things you can't control. Yep, that's true. Yeah, I'm guessing a lot of like the last couple months were probably hard, but just how hard was it to be away from hockey? Yeah, I, mean, I think every summer you kind of sit there. Like I'll just I have my bag right and my equipment there, and I just like I'm like I'll go downstairs after a while. I'm like looking at it, and just like put my gloves on. So it's it's always one of those things where I think at first you know you feel like uh, you take a little bit off and you don't really think about it as much. But then I think as the summer goes on, you're like okay, let's go play some hockey. So I'm that's you know it's always fun. Obviously, the organization support. What was it like to get the support from the, the goalie department here with Lou and Francois and yeah. Tally and Leo and all those guys throughout all this? Yeah, they're great. I think um, they obviously have a lot of great hockey minds. And I think on the hockey front, I know that we have a tremendous personnel and staff, you know, for both the players and the goalies, but in the, for the goalies in specific. I think between having Lou and his experience, right? you know, he's played over a thousand games. He's seen just about everything, right? And I mean, Tally, he's been, you know, he's coaching for a long time. And everyone else, like Leo, too, I think it's a lot of good minds that can give you a lot of good information and you can take from it. And I think that's one thing I'm like, honestly, it's great about being here. You know, it's, for me, it's not about whether I stop all the pucks or if I don't. And for me, it's more about what can I learn and how can I get better. How much of the playoff run did you, were you able to watch or did you watch it? I watched a little bit. Um, so, the, yeah, I think it was just one of those things that, it was really cool to see. Um, but, you know, there's one thing I learned from watching it is that, like, we, we just talked about it, like, you really don't know, right? But if you work hard and, you know, you kind of just stick to what you can do and just embrace the uh, whatever moment you're in, because honestly, there, there are times in the season where you're just going to be like, we can't even win a game, right? And you're like, we might not make the playoffs. But then, you know, you, you just keep working, keep working, keep working. And that you know eventually pays off, and I think that you know the the Panthers' example of that in the playoffs was you know was a perfect example of it. You I know? know you've heard it when you're Last on question. the ice warming up the, the night chant from the shout from the fans. Did you hear it when you weren't there? Because they kept doing it uh, yeah, I all think, the way through. I think I saw a video. I think you know it just speaks to the fans we have here. They're just very passionate, and you know they're very supportive. And one thing I noticed too is that you know. Every time you meet one of them, let's say it's like outside the rink or even maybe after a game when you're driving outside, they're all very, like, very respectful, you know, and they're just, they want to, like, you know, take a picture, autograph, but they say thank you, please. And I think they're just great people. And I think that's one thing I've really enjoyed about playing here is that, you know, they respect you as a person and as a player too. And honestly, it's, it's, it's so much fun playing in front of them, so. But one of the fans said that they did that hoping you'd hear it. You know, oh, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I, I did hear it. Yeah, I heard a few during the anthem, so it was really cool. So, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Thanks.